Hello, gang, and welcome back to the Florida Power Book Club channel here on YouTube. And as you guys join us, we are just getting through the coronavirus blues where most of the United States is on lockdown as we try to flatten the curve and get through this coronavirus threat that began on the other side of the world just a few months ago and has now swept our nation. So uh, let's get through this together as we all uh, social distance ourselves and that's what exactly what we're doing here in the FBC studio. Stu Jones here with Ryan McCoy as we work in the studio to bring you guys more exciting content featuring the adventures of the Florida Powerboard Club who are now at the Emerald Coast. This is feature coverage of the 2019 edition of Emerald Coast Power Boat Week. When we left off in our last episode, the teams were just getting their poker cards on Saturday morning, and there were a lot of boats pulling up to the dock. And I've always said this is one of my favorite segments of the poker run because we get a chance to see the crews up close early in the morning on a beautiful day as they embark on this 100-mile poker run course, which will take about 90 powerboat teams and about 500 attendees uh, from Sandestin to Pensacola on a beautiful day in the middle of the summer. The Florida Powerboat Club's Poker Run event series and these YouTube episodes are presented by Mercury Racing Wide Open and by OffLeaseOnly.com, the nation's used car destination, along with these leading marine industry sponsors. And I'd like to share with our viewers what our event artwork looks like. This is the souvenir t-shirt artwork, as well as the big banners that we place all around town. And you'll see that the actual boats in the artwork are attending on this week's run. In addition to our manufacturing series sponsors, I'd like to thank these Emerald Coast 2019 feature sponsors, including Emerald Grand Resort in Destin, our event headquarters, Glassstream Power Boats from Alabama, makers of fine center console power boats. We have two of them on the run. Go On Vacation, Alocomp Business Insurance Group, Emerald Coast Convention and Visitors Bureau, TD Wall Sport Chassis Trucks, Bent Marine from Louisiana, dealers for Nortec High Performance, and DCB Racing from California. So let's get back to the poker run as our teams are picking up their very first poker card from the docks at Harbor Walk Village. And of course, we are enjoying this floating dock platform here as the boats start pulling up and the audio didn't come through very clearly on this boat. So I'm gonna personally introduce uh, Larry and Heather Montalero from Denham Springs, Louisiana. And they are enjoying the poker run in their 33 fountain called Smoke Showing. And four years in a row now, gotta congratulate them. 2015, 17, 18, and now 19. Riding with them today are Jake, Molly, Marcus, and Jackie. They're gonna have a great day on the water in that 33 fountain. And believe me when I say this is fountain territory as Frank and Molly Tubbs pull up to the dock in their 1999 fountain. They are from Muscle Shoals in Alabama and are joined today by Neil and Selena Inman. Uh, and I wanna say uh, congratulations on their track record. I look back in the records in 2015, 16, 17, 18, and 19. That's five years in a row for Frank and Molly Tubbs. I think that they go back even further than that, but our records uh, don't show that in the database, but I'm gonna look it up one day because I think they go back more than a decade. And let's welcome locals Wraith and Lisa Drake in their Sunsation 34 CCX. And it's a fairly new model, 2018, and I'm guessing they probably bought it from Captain's Choice here in town. And they have really picked up their powerboating lifestyle over the last two or three years. They started off with Emerald Coast in 2017. They did it again in 2018, and then they came and joined us for Key West in 18. But this year, they set a record. Orange Beach 2019, Emerald Coast, and again, Key West in the fall. Another team from Georgia here, uh, Matt Wilson in his uh, 32 Sea Fox. Going to be probably the last time we see this boat for a while because he's got the new one coming real soon. Uh, this one's powered by a pair of Yamahas, but he's going to get the new boat with Mercury Racing Power, triple 400s on the new 36 that's coming out very soon. It's going to be the first Sea Fox uh, of that new model that they have coming out, and Matt's going to be the owner of that first one that comes out. Of course, this, uh, this boat here now is a Nortec 39 uh, center console, team number 88, sponsored by Bent Marine. And of course, 
the Nortec factory on board with us as a sponsor for this event uh, as they continue to support the club, club through 2019. Uh, this is a very popular color, this brown metallic. A lot of boats coming out of the factory in that color seem to be very popular for that 39 model. This one's powered by triple 400 Mercury Racing Verados. Uh, a lot of people are loving those engines. Some in the club have four of them on board, but this boat runs fine with three. Still gonna run an 80 mile an hour boat. And it looks like they're not gonna be running 80 miles an hour today because they've got, count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Oh, they've got about 18, 19 people on that boat today. Now this is a very interesting boat here. First time on the water, first time on a poker run. Built by Joe Specker, he built this boat in his warehouse about uh, 20, 30 miles from here. He said he started building it about four years ago. It's all welded aluminum, so basically, uh, it's, and it's got a European styling. Very, very much everyone thinks it looks like a Van Dutch, of course, with that bow, certainly does. Uh, but a very unique styling, but a good running boat. He decided to give it some big power. He's got some Cummins. Uh, diesel engines, uh, turbocharged diesels, 550 horsepower aside. Uh, he says those engines run this boat perfectly. Gets the boat up to about 65 miles per hour. He's not going to be running 65 today. So. Hey, gang. And we got Nortec 39. Bent, Team Bent Marine. This is the fishing version, uh, the, the, the super fish version, uh, the 392, we call it. It's all rigged out for fishing. Uh, you can see the wrap on the side. This is their hardcore team. They got their Bent Marine team shirts on today. And of course, Terry Sobo in the back seat, wheeling and dealing. So that's uh, two boats from Bent Marine. And uh, this one here, powered by four Mercury 400s, not the racing edition. Those are Mercury mainline motors that have been flashed up to 400 horsepower. This is indeed the spirit of the poker run. This is the kind of thing that you can expect here on the Emerald Coast Powerboat Poker Run. Dr. Jason Parker and his crew on board Team Maverick 39 Deep Impact. And you can see they got into the poker run spirit with their Batman Joker outfits. There you go. Are you the Riddler? You're the Riddler. Okay. Batwoman. There you go. I love those shoes. And you can see if you look closely, there's a big section of black material on the deck of that boat. He's got marine mat forward on the forward deck so you can walk up and down on the deck of that boat safely and comfortably without falling down. And recording audio at the dock is not an exact science, so let's introduce Steve and Lisa Young one more time in their 35-foot fountain team moving freight. Okay, one more sponsor here to mention. Team Deep Impact, uh, Boats Direct USA, Mark and Eileen Fisher on board this brand new 39. Uh, just rolled in here to the run. First time we've seen this boat on a poker run. They've done it up nicely with some simple graphics. You can see uh, following the lines of the boat and then of course matching the interior to the boat to the colors on the side. A great looking boat. You can see they've got all their team uniforms all matching here, looking good today. Hey team, how's it going? So Team Deep Impact here, uh, as they are every year, supporting this event. This one here is powered by four Mercury Racing 400 Verados, a nice power package, making this a boat that runs well into the 80 mile an hour range. And kind of a special story to tell here as the Andersons pull up, Jeff Anderson, his wife and his crew, uh, they actually picked up the registration for the late Tony Eli, their friend from South Carolina, who had registered for the poker run, had actually attended before, but Tony passed away just a couple of months before the event. So Jeff and his crew came to the poker run as a celebration of Tony's life. And here now, what might be considered to be the flagship of the Outer Limits fleet, this 51-foot Outer Limits Octavio and Karen Valdivia from Georgia in this big Outer Limits powered by Triple Mercury Racing 700s. And it's another team from Georgia and a very seasoned poker run team at that. They've done this event as many years as I can remember. They've even got a condo here in Destin, Jim and Lynn Archambault, who are enjoying the event on their 44 foot outer limits, keeping it real. Hey Lynn, looking great. Jackie Jones says hi as she gets another card ready for the next boat. And the ladies are looking lovely today as Lana Albert picks up her card off the deck of their 35-foot fountain, Team Lickalonopus. And wouldn't you know it, another team from Georgia. Imagine that. <laughs> Michael and Tara Kimball in their 
32 foot Sea Fox center console. And I want to say I had a ride on this boat, but I think it was a different one. I think it was uh, their previous boat uh, when I joined them in Lake Lanier for that poker run just two summers earlier. And here's a team that does this poker run year after year. This is Michael and Christy Fuque from Tennessee. Their 38-foot cigarette team, Smoking Gun. Riding on board with them, Danny and Mickey Guy, who are locals to the area. They usually do the event in Danny's Active Thunder. But I guess they decided to switch the boats out, and uh, Mike put his cigarette on the trailer and dragged her down from Nashville. And it's another one of our sponsored teams. Came all the way from Miami. This is the Deep Impact 369 model. First time here on a poker run with this new model. Looks very similar to the new styling of the 399, but it's a little shorter and does really well on three engines. So you can even do this boat with two engines if you want, but I deal with uh, triple 350s, it runs great. And now let's welcome Derek and Cindy Kimbrough from Tennessee in their 34 foot sensation enough for play they've been on runs before their last boat was a big outer limits they got their act together here as they reach out for the cards and congratulations to them for bringing the sensation count to eight boats tying with cigarette and it's time to break things up just a little bit we still have a lot of boats down at card stop number one but let's get up in the helicopter and uh, join the guys as they start flying with timberview helicopters in this r44 and you can see what a perfect day it is as the color of the water is just brilliant along the uh, beaches of uh, the Gulf of Mexico. And there's the first shot now of us here in Destin Harbor as we are continuing card stop number one. You can see all the traffic, a lot of boats in the harbor, a ton of boats already out here at Crab Island, and really just a, a busy, vibrant harbor here on this Saturday morning. And I like this shot a lot. Uh, we talked about this in the last show, and that's how big now this Noriego Point is, how far it extends over towards the Highway 98 Bridge, providing a lot of protection here of Harbor Walk Village and making it possible for us to do this car checkpoint. Looks like our fire safety teams are going at it. <laughs> I think that is Niceville Fire having a fire hose duo with Destin Fire. And you know, these guys are entitled to have a little bit of fun too, I say. I mean, they're out here supporting us on the poker run and uh, nothing wrong with firing up the big hose. So we'll now be able to catch some of the boats as they head out into the bay waters, uh, starting with Matt and Robin Wilson again. We saw this boat a couple of times earlier in the show. And quite a contrast, if I think back 20 years ago when we were doing this event, I don't think we would have seen too many center consoles registered for the poker run, but that has certainly changed. Here again now is Wraith and Lisa Drake, our local team in their 34-foot Sensation uh, CCX. And really just a continuing dialogue about these center consoles and how popular they have become for poker runs over the years. And now it's uh, back with Keith Rockman. Same boat as the Drake's boat we just saw, but with a, a full blanket of custom paint, as you can see with these blues and silvers. And something that Sensation is really known for is their custom graphics. They really have some fancy paint jobs and a wild use of colors. They've got some great painters that have done work for them over the years. But don't forget, guys, for every team that likes it wild, there's a team that likes it mild. So sometimes you're going to see all white boats with very, very light treatment of graphics and colors. And that's just fine. Every boat is a statement of its owners. And continuing with our Sensation factory demo reel. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing here because there's so many. Steve Rabelais and his 32, powered by Mercury 350s, twin 350s. Once again, proving that this is a great entry-level boat you can bring all your friends and still run 60 miles per hour all day long to enjoy the poker run. And one more time with Larry and Heather Montalero uh, from Denon Springs, Louisiana in their 33 Fountain. Had to photograph this boat so many times. You know, they always make it out on Sunday for that last, you know, final photo shoot that we do in the Bay Area and sometimes go out into the Gulf. And they just religiously showed up every Sunday for the chopper. And that's when they tend to get their very best photos. But they're doing great today, getting photo and video early in the day on this beautiful Saturday morning. And a chance to join now Carol Smith and his team on this dealership fountain, a 1996 Lightning twin-step hull. The first year, by the way, guys, for those who are 
Fountain Geeks, the first year for the Step Bottom Boat. Uh, so this boat really dates back more than two decades and running with triple Mercruiser 525 SCs. What a great package and so well maintained. We got a close look at the boat over at the ramp a day earlier. These car dealers really take care of their toys. Now the movement of the poker run is primarily in an easterly direction. We are now in the southeast corner of Choctahatchee Bay near Sandestin for poker card number two. And we'd like to begin by thanking Mr. Jack Wilson, who lives here in Destin, uh, for providing us with this big 70-foot Maritimo motor yacht called After Five as a platform to hand off the cards. There's our lucky team. That's right, the Mystic 42 bodacious too which is uh, neil and cindy camel getting their second poker card and if you're wondering why there's all these pretty ladies on the motor yacht well that's because we are sponsored by coyote ugly and coyote ugly of course is located right in uh, the emerald grand area emerald grand harbor walk village in the standalone building and they've been open every night till about three or four in the morning and a lot of our club members have been going there late at night it's the only bar that's open on property that late uh, so they're a perfect kid. A lot of people said they had some fun there. And so we want to thank the ladies of Coyote Ugly because most of them are bartenders and servers from the bar that are here, got up early this morning after working a late shift to be out here to help today. Of course, we have our FPC girl Tesla on board helping out as well as the teams come up one by one to get their poker cards. And having this card stop out here in the Bay Area off of a yacht is something that's becoming more and more popular on our events. I enjoy doing it, and I think that it certainly gives an opportunity for a sponsor and for the owner of a yacht to get together and have a front row seat to this poker run, which you couldn't possibly have anywhere else. I also like the idea of being able to set it up really wherever you want, and this is ideally set up just outside of Sandestin. So in the past, uh, the way it was previously organized which you had to go down that long idle speed zone into the docks at Baytown Wharf to get your card and then turn around and go way back out and in the middle of the hot summer morning you really don't want to have that long idle speed zone here all you really have to do is just bring the boat down off plane wait your turn and then pull the boat safely up alongside and also notice that it's not windy today at all it's a summer day very light winds and this is a protected corner of the Bay Area so it's very easy to pull up and get your card without banging into the yacht and causing any damage. And that's really what we want to have is a stress-free poker run checkpoint. And the girls have done just a fantastic job with that long pull. And that really keeps the boat from coming up too close to the yacht to get your card. I think it was a great segment. Thanks to everybody on card stop number two. And also thanks to our safety boats. Uh, this is safety boat one. It's a Yamaha twin engine jet boat. Uh, first time it's uh, done its duty here on the Emerald Coast event. You can see the guys all wearing their safety staff shirts. But thanks to Ryan Kristen and his brother Eric and their entire crew for putting together uh, a team of safety boats, four all together, out on the course today. Now we're catching up with Wes Harlow. We saw a little bit of Wes earlier in his new cigarette. It's a 2000 model, same year as my Project 1080 cigarette. He just picked the boat up a couple of weeks earlier in Georgia. And it's just really shaking her down for the very first time uh, with this new cigarette for him. So I'm anxious to see what he does with the boat. Personally, I don't think it needs a thing. It's uh, got those traditional cigarette graphics. Uh, I'm guessing it runs pretty good, but he's super mechanically inclined. So I'm sure he's going to keep her running fine. you got to love this shot from the GoPro, a, a new mount that they used here to actually zoom in on the crew while they're working. Now we're catching up with Ronnie Sprinkle. We saw a lot of this boat in the last show, his first time here on the Emerald Coast event in this 32-foot skater called Team Kryptonite. And I'm guessing this is one of the loudest boats we have on the poker run. Just listen to this beast roar. And one more shot with this really cool helicopter angle as we drop down on Vu Win 
in his 38-foot Donzi ZR Sivu play. We saw him at the ramp earlier yesterday as he prepped the boat, got his sticker on, and now he's got his entire crew on board and enjoying the poker run and throwing out a massive rooster tail off of the transom of this 38 ZR. And we are about to witness a scene that you might witness on Lake Lanier during a poker run, but uh, that's because both these teams are from Georgia and spent a lot of time on Lake Lanier. On the right, that's Brad Hancock with his 477 Nortec SBX powered by Twin Mercury Racing 1350s. Brad's other boat is a 50-foot Hustler, so when one is getting fixed, that's the one he uses for the poker run. But he also has a huge houseboat. I enjoyed partying with them on it last year up at the lake, a 100-plus foot houseboat that they take out to Party Cove. And trust me, when you put two or three of those houseboats together, you can have one big party. And a closer look now at Mike and Susan Pascal in their 42X cigarette powered by Mercury Racing 860s. And we're going to jump around a little bit here to keep the show a little more entertaining as we return back to car checkpoint number one at the docks at Harbor Walk Village, thanks to Bogey's Boat Rental for providing us with this venue as Robert and Trisha Keys pull up to the dock in their Eliminator Cat. It's powered by Mercury Racing 400Rs, a family boat. They make uh, poker runs a family affair. I love having these guys on the poker runs, a very spirited team, and they really send out a great message, I think, about what you can do as a family going out, boating on a poker run and sticking together. Guys, this is the way you ought to do it. If you have kids, make this a habit because there's no better way to bring your kids up. And a very special welcome to Paul Bertusi from Mississippi, Team Beer Money 2, which is a Deep Impact 399 powered by Quad Mercury 350 Verados. Yes. He's got a fun crew on board today. Always a great guy to have on this poker run. Now, we go back so far. I met Paul back in 1999 when I first came to the Emerald Coast Poker Run. One of the first guys I met, he had a 42 Fountain. Now, here's another team from Alabama. Let's welcome David Hudman and his crew on this 43-foot Everglades. Lucky Lucy with some very pretty ladies up front. Doing it right, gals. Of course, you have got this down to a science as uh, Miss Jackie hands off the poker card. Biggest Everglades we've ever had in the club. Look at the size of this thing. I love that tower up top where you can actually drive the boat from up there. And time for a quick shout out to Amber and to my wife Jackie for sticking it out here in the hot sun, handing out the cards as they hand off to A.L. Kirkland and his crew on that Glass Dream 36 center console. And the second boat from the Glass Dream sponsor team, this one's Robbie Eula, 36 Glass Dream uh, from Georgia that came here to attend the event and a very special welcome to Bill Dahl from Illinois with his 39 foot Sutphin Team Nasty for those of you who were at the captains meeting I did a shout out to Bill he's in his mid 70s and has been doing these runs with Florida Powerboat Club since 1992 and a special thanks to Team Midnight Express Eric Laser came all the way from Miami 700 miles with this Midnight Express 37 powered by Quad Mercury Verado 400 hours. And we caught a glimpse of this boat in the last show, Seth and Tisha Rita from Texas, their first time on the Emerald Coast event in their 38-foot Sonic. High score for the bikini, and I love the matching hat. Now let's welcome the James gang all the way from South Carolina. Scott and Monica James in their fountain, slippery when wet. Son Nick on board with his lovely wife, Mariana. And they have done a lot of poker runs, and they've got this thing down. And from across the harbor, we can see Derek and the boys heading out. Uh, that's Derek's 52 MTI Black Diamond, sister ship Black Diamond Express, the 34. And the new arrival on the background, that's a 59 cigarette Tirana, Team 6 Carat. And so happy to see John and Cher Floyd from Texas back again on Team NXS. They've got the whole crew on board today, Bill and JJ and Kathy and Tim Morales. 
In her video bio, Cher explained why they come back every year. It's because of the great camaraderie and the super organization by Jackie and Stu. Team NXS has participated in this event for over a decade, missing only one year, that was 2018. This is a completely restored 1993 47-foot Thunder Fountain with triple 1000s. It's a 1993-94 Offshore Super Bowl World Champion. This brings back fond memories for me back in 1993 when I traveled with the Superboat Racing Tour for an entire year from coast to coast. Zane and Amanda Mead are seasoned professionals now on these poker runs. They've done this event so many times all the way from Texas and Zane realizes that this is not the event for his 48 MTI cat. His 42 MTI center console is much better suited for the task and the girls couldn't agree more. And one of my favorite cigarettes of all time, this 46 foot cigarette called Rum Runner. It's a very special one-off boat built by Cigarette back in 2004, owned now by Daryl Turner, powered by Mercury Racing 1075s. I actually photographed this boat with the cigarette dealer in Pompano Beach in 04. It was the cover of Power Boating in Paradise magazine. And here's Greg Desher from Mississippi proving beyond a shadow of a doubt that a pursuit is no longer Grandpa's old fishing boat that's behind the shed. This DC-365 is a dual console, triple outboard powered with air-conditioned cockpit and a huge forward lounge for all your friends. And last but not least, our final entry here on this card checkpoint number one segment is Greg Tolson from Tampa, Florida with his 32-foot Sensation Team Addictive Behavior. And I would have to say that of all of the bucket list items that Greg has probably checked off in his last eight years with the club, one of them at the top was crossing to Cuba in six to seven footers with this very same 32 sensation. And I must admit that was probably one of the longest card checkpoint segments we've ever had on the Emerald Coast Poker Run, but it was a fun one. We got some great shots and we enjoyed working there from the docks at Harbor Walk Village. Now it's time to go fast again. And uh, here's a boat that's a part of a four boat team, Jerry Swanson and Jim Duff. We're not sure who's driving what. We think John Paul Snow is driving this SD41 powered by Mercury Racing 1100s. Those are the QC4 motors, and this is one stout center console. One of a few center consoles that has the accolade of running well over 100 miles per hour. And if you don't believe me, well, we looked it up. 2016 at the Lotto Shootout racer Myra Coyle from Performance Boat Center jumped behind the helm with his helmet on and ran the boat 104 miles per hour. Not bad for a 19,000 pound boat. Now it's time to catch up with Frank and Molly Tubbs. They've got their air conditioning on now. That's because it was hot getting those cards at the dock in Destin Harbor, but now they're just cruising away. A Little bit of wind in the hair as they get up to speed, 55, 60 miles an hour. A nice comfortable cruise for today as we head now across the Bay Waters for card stop number three. And the guys are now catching up with Wraith and Lisa Drake, uh, our locals here from the Fort Walton Beach area. Sensation 2, which I assume means it's their second sensation. I, I would think they should call it Team Vanilla because it's, you know, it's white. But I really like how Wraith is keeping the speed controlled so his passengers up front can enjoy the ride, not get bounced around. This is what it's all about, guys, making sure your crew is having fun. And I would echo that very same point here with Steve Rabelais on the 32 Sensation. Uh, and that's what's great about this event. Nice calm conditions, but keep the throttle where it needs to be so your crew can sit up front, enjoy the ride, and just say they had a perfect day of boating. That's how you take home fond memories from a poker run. And it's another shot of a local team, Keith and Karen Rockman, their 34 Sensation CCX uh, with custom paint. And once more time, guys, <laughs> this is about as good as it gets. You get, you've got a captain who knows how to keep the speed where it needs to be. You've got a nice, calm bay water conditions. People are sitting up front enjoying the ride. This is how you enjoy a poker run. And I'm thinking of Joe Schaldenbrand from Sensation right now. I'm going to make sure he sees this because this is like a Sensation factory commercial right now. <laughs> i got to say, they really have done a great job with their product.
And we're now catching up with Gunnar Adams with his 42-foot cigarette Huntress, quad Mercury Racing 400Rs. And like I said earlier, some like it mild and some like it wild. It looks like Gunnar's attitude is wild as I can possibly get. And I think you're going to win for the best and wildest graphics of this event, Gunnar. You got it hands down. Uh, but same deal here, a nice big center console. Instead of everybody sitting up front on this one, though, they're all sitting in the back enjoying the ride. But nonetheless, clearly the center consoles are giving us all a great platform to enjoy poker runs. We're closing in on that 30-minute mark here for episode number four with feature coverage of the Emerald Coast Poker Run. So let's take a break. When we come back in our next episode, we'll continue with all of the feature coverage of these boats as they head across the Bay Waters and the Intracoastal Waters westbound as we navigate this Poker Run course from Sandestin to Pensacola Beach. Special thanks to all of our participants and our sponsors for your continued support and coming out to support this annual Emerald Coast Power Boat Week headquartered here in the middle of the Florida Panhandle in Fort Walton Beach and Destin, Florida. This is a charity event which raised tens of thousands of dollars for local charities here in Okaloosa County. So be sure to catch continuing coverage on episode number five of the 2019 edition of the Florida Powerboat Club's Emerald Coast Powerboat Week right here on YouTube at the Florida Powerboat Club channel. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell so you get updates every time a new episode is released. It's a tough time for all of us as we get through this coronavirus scare, but we have to flatten the curve by following the social distancing guidelines, listening to our elected officials, and following the CDC and the World Health Organization's guidelines so we can get through this, but we can only do it together. Meanwhile, you have my support. This is Stu Jones here in the studio at Florida Powerboat Club in Pompano Beach, along with producer Ryan McCoy, and we vow to stay in the studio and maintain our own level of social distancing while we continue to produce exciting powerboating content for you guys to enjoy back at home while you're under quarantine and residential lockdown. But take this time to spend quality time with your families and we'll all get through this together. We've already had to cancel two major poker runs and there's probably more to come through the spring and early summer. So you can get all of the updates about what events are happening with the Florida Powerboat Club at our website, flpowerboat.com. Follow us on Facebook at Florida Powerboat Club and be sure to check out these Instagram pages for new content. If you do have a chance to go boating, use your discretion, try to be safe out there and remember to always wear your life jackets. Bye for now. The Florida Powerboat Club's Poker Run event series and these YouTube episodes are presented by Mercury Racing Wide Open and by OffLeaseOnly.com, the nation's used car destination, along with these leading marine industry sponsors.